give it a good sweep, um, clean like the dust stuff all the saddle racks and the bridle holders and uh, give it a nice little spring clean, a bit late, start of summer clean, <laughs> clean anyway. <laughs> Pretty wet and rainy today. Um, quite the contrast from yesterday. Um, bit fitting went well. We tried a few bits and he definitely preferred a couple. So Sue let me keep. Hey Dizzy! Sue let me keep a couple to kind of try over the next few weeks. <laughs> um, the physio went okay. He was a, a little bit sore in a few places. So um, we're going to work on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, now though, I'm going to take the horse's fly mask off and Qantas fly rug off because they are soaking. Hello sweetheart, Qantas come back. I'm just gonna take all the soggy stuff off. Silly little pony. Hello. Qantas is having a wee, so we'll wait. So slidey, look at this. <laughs> to be on clay. Qantas has been very jumpy with all like the storms and stuff. Who knows what's going to him. He also has been really funny about his right ear, but I can't see anything wrong with it, inside or out. So, it's the horse's rest day today. It's a good day for it, I feel. Good planning. Um, so I've been meaning to go through all of my stuff for ages. I've made some lists, I love a list, of what I need at home and what I need at competition. I'm gonna go through what I have, what I don't have, go through stuff I don't need or use anymore to sell. Um, just have a real general sort out, go through the crew car spares and the lorry spares and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to just go collect everything, put it all in my stable, see what see what I've got. So I'm in my lorry, obviously. Um, I keep most of my competition kit either up in the Luton or in the living. So I'm just going to get all that down, get it all together, take it to my stable and sort all it out. Um, you can now laugh at short girl problems of getting all this down. Thank you. 
Beautiful. my corral gear, some like chairs, the rug hanger for when we're at a stable. I don't need to go through that, I know I want to keep it, it's fine up there. But my two vet gate boxes will go through. And then in the back in the living I have um, like this stub saddle holder and it's actually on an ice box, like a cool box wheelie set and we bungeed it on. Um, and we use this in the vet gate when I need to get the saddle off quick, chuck the saddle on to take it from the crew area to the hold area. And then I put like all the stuff I need for competition in there, like my GPS watch, um, bum bag, glasses, hat, chaps, boots, competition stuff basically. So let's take them and sort them out. Okay, so this is all the stuff out of the lorry. This is all the stuff out of um, storage in the tack room. I've put a um, towel out. Let's go through everything. Alright, so. Spare shim. These are the little pockets I made that go under my saddle flap to put the roofing lead in. Spare bits of tack. Steps. Leather tack. When I do stressage, dressage to other people, this is really um, nice. One of my friends knows a, a Jeffrey's rep and they let me try the Jeffrey's Gentle on Aziz and he actually went really well on the, the flat work for him he even got me a little diamante um, brow band and blue rings so, that only comes out in the winter, I only dress in winter got all my little bike lights for winter riding brow band my golden horseshoe 2018 brow band that can go in with all the tack I'm just going through all my Kind of wool stuff, boots and girth sleeves and numbness and things. Just thought I'd show you these. So this, these things used to be um, like IKEA sofa cushion covers in navy, of course. And my mum stitched the logos on, and that's where I keep like all my competition girth sleeves and stuff. And I just thought they were really cool. Um, Tizzy for Weg, we got some really lovely rugs, but obviously Tizzy is fourteen hands. And most horses that go to the World Equestrian Games are pretty big and obviously they cater more towards the Olympic disciplines than, than the others. So we've got quite a lot of six foot rugs. So my mum, bless her, unpicked all the logos on the rugs that we'd been given, bought like plain versions from like Derby House in tizzy size and then hand stitched them all back on so we still like had the same rugs as everyone else. It was so so cute um, and I still have all of them. Unfortunately, I'm getting a bit teary. It's emotional. It's my age. I'm getting older. Everyone said I was an ice queen and everyone said as you get older you get more emotional. They were right. Um, unfortunately Tizzy is five foot six and Azid and Qantas is five foot nine. So most her competition rugs don't fit them. Story of my life. <laughs> I made like a list of home rugs and competition rugs and then on the other side I'm making a list of the actual rugs I have and kind of seeing what I need and what I can actually sell and get rid of, save some space and um, raise a bit of pennies to, to buy new stuff. What else would you do that for? So this has got all my Vetgate rugs in. This has, will have all my Vetgate stuff in, so like um, bandages, uh, waterproof saddle cover, spare um, coat for me, then like the heart rate monitor stuff and things, any any bits and bobs that need to go in the Vetgate. Just finished the, the fluffy box um, and I've written, literally I've got a kind of sheet for everything, so I've written down all the stuff that's in there, so I'll, I can then make a list of what I need and what I can get rid of. We're getting there. I'm just going through my vet gate box and I always have like a spare coat in case obviously I get really soaked out on course. Um, so I've said before that at championships we always like swap tops and coats and things. So these are the two that um, I swapped and actually I thought I'd bring this one. This is the one of the Norwegian Young Rider team coats and it's so Kingsland, it's actually really nice. So I thought I'd bring that out the box because I actually have never had to use it. 
um, and I used this as a second yard coat because I've only got one and that got absolutely soaked yesterday so now I have a second um, and I'm going to put, this is like the most waterproof coat I've ever had um, and it's, it spits really nicely, trust the Germans to have a really nice coat it's from Cavallo, you can see like the Germany and the, the logo on it so this is going to be the new spare vet gate coat and no it's not blue so we might have to rectify that but I've never ever had to use this one, I've had it since 2009, so I think we'll be okay, but it's good to have a spare. Getting everything back! <laughs> We've just got back from mountain biking and the ponies are back in their normal field. It's recovered really well. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. It's recovered really well. It's super grassy again. Um, so they can be back back down here. It's a bit shadier down here as well. Um, it's exciting. So I've, I've scythed all the docks in here. We've taken out, um, there were a couple of ragwort plants that were growing. Um, Dan's just filling the water up. We're good to go.